Hello guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I want to show you how to make the Amtrak City Sprinter. Now it's also known as the Siemens ACS64, and it's an electric locomotive, and it's used by Amtrak in the northeast part of the United States. And um, I got a request to do this three times, so I really wanted to do it. And uh, the cool thing about this one is, I actually did see this in real life, so it's cool to see the things that you build in real life first and it's a pretty cool train I do have a video on how to make the Amfleet coaches that are usually connected to this locomotive and uh, let's get started so um, let me just go over there first first thing we're gonna do is take a gray hardened clay just make a three block wide like this then we want to make a five block wide on top like that and you wanna make the you wanna make it so like the top half it's a uh, 30 blocks long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 2, 3, 13, 14, 5, 6, 20, 7, 20, 8, 29, 30. And uh, you want to do the same thing that you did in the front and in the back because uh, this locomotive, it's uh, double ended and the two sides, they pretty much look alike. And we're going to fill in the rest of the floor of this locomotive using the Sion hardened clay. I know in previous videos I did say Sion uh, stain clay, but I don't know. When I, when I checked it, it's uh, hardened clay, so I guess I have to use that from now on. I really wanted to make a video because I haven't made a video in a couple days. And I want to do it a video more frequently than once a week. So uh, here is the video. Alright, so after we're done with that, let's take some Sion, no, some clay actually. And we want to make a two block tall wall along the side of this. Oh, we're not there yet. Okay. Then we're going to do the other side. Just placing clay. Alright, so once we're done with that, I uh, just add one clay in the middle like that. And just add a beacon to either side of it. And do this on the other side as well. And on top, we're going to add three blocks wide of lapis some lapis lazuli because I really like this blue color and it matches with how the locomotive looks like so just add two like this uh, to the to the edges so with that we can make a slope so just uh, add two blocks like that one two one two and on the corners here we want to add a red carpet because they do have a red stripe but uh, this is where it's gonna be it's just gonna stay here we don't have really a way to put the red so it goes along the whole time and the next step we're gonna do let's uh, work on the the bottom of the train so we're gonna count from here one two three four and after the fourth one that's where we're gonna make the wheels now the wheels are just gonna be hoppers two hoppers for each wheel and um, a stone brick slab in the middle that's for the connection I guess I wonder if it's called a bogey I feel like it is and uh, we want to do the same thing on the other side so just count four and just place it after that let me do both sides at the same time so it's easier So I have to go to the other side and um, we're just going to skip one block away from the wheel and that's where we're going to make this wall of stone brick slab and then we want to connect it to the other side and we don't want to go to the outer edge we just want to keep it inwards like this and uh, we also want to add stone slabs to the ends at the front and the back like this in the corners and one for the coupling add it here as well 
and uh, oh wow so I actually missed that detail so what the alright that's confusing hmm I think I do like it this way so if you didn't notice uh, one side is that uh, gray wall so let's make it both gray wall actually I think I messed up when I was making it but let's add a gray wall here because that looks way better more detailed so we add gray wall in the middle of the lapis and uh, um, let's take oh we really have it another brick slab add three on top like that and uh, black stained glass do you want a 2 by 3 right behind the nether brick so add the nether brick slab and we want the window like that and on top right on top of the window we want a gray carpet like that same thing on this side and uh, the next level is a uh, stone brick slab like that three like that and then we're gonna replace the middle one with a stone slab and that's gonna be uh, the light that's on top so once we're done with that we want to add a 3x4 of gray wool for the next level like that same thing on this side and we want to remove the middle one near the the center with uh, stone slabs like that. And uh, for the rest of the locomotive, hmm, we gotta place the door. So let's get an iron door and also a black stained glass for the window on the side. And basically, what we're gonna do, we're gonna count four, one two three four and right after the fourth one that's where the door is going to be so just make a hole in the clay same thing on the other side so one two three four hole here hole there and then we're going to take the black stained glass you want to add it to the corner near the end of the locomotive so over here that and take some clay and bedrock and we're gonna use the clay to fill in the empty space like that and right after the door we want to fill in one more like that actually did I mess up I don't know if I did because it shouldn't be like that I don't know all right let's just fill in with clay first and then okay this is really weird Oh, one, two, right? One, two, one, two. All right. Oh, okay. I got it. So it's not weird, actually. I'm just miscalculating. Let me just fill in this clay wall. Same thing on the other side. Just fill it in like that. Like make a frame around the door. And then uh, fill in this wall a bit more. And the next layer, we're going to add some vents, which are just bedrock. So there's actually three vents on this side, two vents on this side. So for this side, I'm just going to put three vents, and it's right after this. So you can see a space after the door. That's uh, where we're going to place the vents. So we have three bedrock like this, every other block. And for this side, it's just two. And the rest, it should be uh, clay. So we just fill that in. And uh, let's make the Amtrak logo. So we get some lapis lazuli and we go to the middle of the locomotive. And you can uh, calculate this by using this one at the bottom. And it should be even since it is 30 blocks uh, long. And we're just going to make this fat T shape like that. And that's the Amtrak logo. <laughs> and uh, same thing on this side. Alright, and then uh, let's take some stone slab. Just fill in the roof here. You don't want to have it exposed, so 
Just cover it up with the stone slab. And then we're gonna add the two pantographs. Now one pantograph is folded down and one's folded up. So we're gonna make up both of them. I think usually you would want to have one on extended and one folded like this. So that's how I did it. And uh, we're gonna count two away from here, from that block, and have uh, acacia so stairs like that. And then we wanna have a wood slab. It's just sloping upwards basically that and then it's gonna go the other way around and for the top one we want to use a uh, stone slab instead like the top middle of the pentagraph and for the upside down part you want to have upside down acacia stairs like that and let's move on to the other one so uh, this one's folded down so let's use Let's just count first two away from here, and that's where the pantograph's gonna be. So I'm just gonna put the floating stone brick slab with the upside down acacia stairs like that. And after it, it's just two acacia wood slabs like that. And then we're gonna take red carpet and just put it on top where we can, where the orange is. And this is so, it looks more red because in reality it's supposed to be red not orange but we can't really do that since there are no real um, red stairs unless you want to count brick but I don't like how brick looks like so um, let me see is that one block away from the stairs we want to add uh, two levers like this and right after this one we want to add two levers like that and one lever in the middle. I don't, I don't really think it matters which way you put it. Uh, so it's like that. And let's also add the blue stripe on top. So we don't want to go over the lapis. We want to skip that part and just continue the rest of the blue stripe. And let's do this side as well. Alright, so that's pretty much how you build the ACS64 or the Amtrak City Sprinter. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you do, hit that like button below, and subscribe if you haven't already because I will upload more videos in the future. I am still working on how all the Amtrak uh, trains they work. I need to make the Superliner, and also need to make the Viewliner, and I do have a Dutch train on the way. And this is the NS Ver V I R M. I don't know. Verm? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. And yeah. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.